Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to talk about Chainlink. Uh, we're going to be looking at its valuation with respect to fiat, with respect to Bitcoin, the move that it's in, how it relates to the 20-week moving average of Bitcoin and more. Uh, so generally just providing an update. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Check out the Telegram channel, which you can see up here. Uh, we can always use more, use more Link Marines in there if you want to discuss about Chainlink and some other cryptocurrencies. And also check out the premium list at IntoTheCryptoverse.com if you guys like what I like the stuff I, I, I do and want to get access to more information. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at here again is just what does Chainlink do when Bitcoin is above and below the 20-week moving average? We know that when it's above it, it historically performs very well. And when it's below it, it more or less is humdrum. Maybe it goes down and then up or up and then down, down and then up. But when Bitcoin is above the 20-week, it mainly just goes up. And this is the chart I made on the last video, and in our recent update, this is what we've done. So we've started that move that we were expecting. You know, we said this is the point where we would likely start to see it move up. Um, so uh, we're seeing that. Uh, I would anticipate this to continue to rise as long as Bitcoin maintains its um, bullishness. It doesn't. Bitcoin doesn't really have to do anything. Uh, if it if it just stays humdrum between like 93 and 9700. Uh, Link is likely going to continue to perform well. If you see Bitcoin drop down to 8,800 um, and then maybe even down to 82 to 8,300, then certainly keep your eyes on on Link and, and maybe it would um, start to reverse course here. But as long as Bitcoin maintains the course, then I would say, you know, not this is not financial advice, but I would expect that this move is, is going to continue and it's just getting started. Um, this is our valuation with respect to Bitcoin. So when it's above the 20 week in red, we go up. Uh, when it's below it, maybe we go down and then we go up or we go up and then we go down. Again, there's not a huge correlation there. Um, more or less, if you take from point A to point B, where it's mainly just going sideways during these times. And maybe it goes up a little, um, but primarily you're looking for the, the time where it's above the 20 week. This was the chart last time. This is what we've done since then. So you can see we bounced off of it a couple more times and we barely started to move up again. Now, we know that Link, and, and I, you know, I apologize to the Link Marines, um, we know that it can't just go up with respect to Bitcoin in this channel forever. Um, maybe it breaks to the upside. Maybe it goes, maybe it goes higher, so maybe I won't apologize. But you have to consider that you know, there, maybe there is some overarching trend that it's going to converge. This uptrend channel was true, if you think about it, while Bitcoin was bleeding and while it was in an accumulation. If Bitcoin is going, to, is going up by say 10X, then it's going to be harder, I imagine, for Link to keep pace in the sense of staying in this channel. So maybe, you know, maybe we come up to this point um, and then start to come back down. So at least keep your eyes out for that. I'm not saying that has to happen, but um, just keep a, you know, keep a level head on that. Don't just uh, think that it, it has to go up um, to maybe 10 to the minus three in the immediate future, because um, it's likely not the case. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll certainly see what happens. Um, here is the price. I like to show this one just for comparison purposes. This is a price of Link and the price of Bitcoin since inception. Um, so it's just been normalized. We're starting at 10 days, and you can see that you know Link. We still have. I mean, obviously, you know, performing as well as Bitcoin would be very hard to do. But you know, it's not that far behind it um, compared to where most coins are. In fact, Link has already reclaimed its all-time high from 2017. Um, you know, which is, is quite incredible when you consider that most altcoins are down 90, 95%. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we are you know, maybe in this move here and we're, we're really going to start moving up. Um, but again, I, I, think that, I think that what's more likely instead of, you know, moving up this quickly, uh, I think what's more likely is going to be a slower move over the next several years where there's going to be retracements, 30 to 40% retracements. But ultimately, the, the price, you know, should keep going higher. Um, especially once we've confirmed the start of the bull market, which I think would be confirmed once Bitcoin holds and maintains the 20 week moving average. Um, and then I also wanted to show this chart. So this is what I showed you guys last time. This isn't really that meaningful. It's just a fun logarithmic regression chart because a lot of people were requesting it. So we have our general buy region, our, you know, our fair value, and then our sell region. Um, we've, you know, we've come to the upper part of the sell region here. The lower part in, in 2019, and I said a while ago that if we come back up to it this summer or maybe later this year, then it could correspond to maybe getting to a price of around $8. 
um, and this would be on par with maintaining this general uptrend and bullishness that, bullishness that Link has seen. Remember, it outperformed Bitcoin by about 5x in the last two years. So it's, I know people are skeptical um, of Link, and the risk is, is I'm, sur I'm sure it's um, not exactly low right now considering it's up like 20x in the last two years. Um, but remember, I mean, coins like Ethereum, you know, they started in a similar manner and, and they, you know, they went up a few bucks and then people took their profits and then they look at it a few years later and, and Ethereum was $1,400 and then the rest is history. So this is the chart I showed you guys last time. Here is what has happened since then. So it's just started to move up. Um, so, you know, the $8 mark is, is not too far away. Um, we would just need to move up by about 100%, which in the current market conditions is not that far-fetched. So uh, stay diligent, stay level-headed, stay resolute in your decision-making. You know, don't go chasing pumps. Continue to sit, I would say, on, on the projects you, you find value in. The primary ones we cover on this channel are Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Cardano, and Chainlink. And um, there'll probably be a couple more that I, I really start to cover soon. Uh, but again, for continuity purposes, I, I really want to focus on these so that people can see the general like thinking that I have with these coins and, and how they behave with respect to how Bitcoin is behaving. So I hope you guys appreciate um, the continuity there. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. Again, check out the Telegram channel if you would like to discuss these charts. And if you want access to the premium list, you can join that at intothecryptoverse.com. Uh, uh, you'll basically just get a weekly report, uh, a weekly premium video where we go through, you know, statistically speaking, um, recently we went through statistically speaking, like the best day and time of day to purchase coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. If we get, you know, more people that are really focused on Link, then obviously I will, I will start to focus more on Link um, in those reports. But we certainly do talk about Link a lot um, on the premium list. And then you also get access to a Google Sheets dashboard with a lot of different metrics that you can follow along with. So we'd love to have you join. You can always try it out. And if you want to pay with crypto, you can get a discount. Um, so check that out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.